afternoon everyone this is another episode of dr george logic we're going to be solving a pair of simultaneous equations today right so without any delay let's get it so looking at the pair of simultaneous equations here the first equation is x minus y equals 1 and the second equation is x plus y equals 5. now we can actually be using the method of substitution and what we need to do first is actually find an equation using equation 1 that we could actually substitute in equation 2 to solve for one of those unknowns. So let's look at equation 1. We have x minus y equals 1. That's equation 1. Let's make x the subject of the formula so let's get an equation for x in terms of y so if you all remember how we did that in uh, transposition we're going to do the same thing here what could we do to the left hand side that would actually result in x being the only thing left on the left hand side that would be we could actually we actually add one add y to the left hand side right and if we add y to the left hand side we're going to end up with x on the left hand side only and remember whatever we do to the left hand side we have to do to the right hand side so we're going to have to add y to the right hand side also so let's go ahead and do that x minus y plus y equals 1 plus y That's going to result in x equals 1 plus y. And we are going to label that equation 3. So now we have an equation 3, which is x in terms of y. What we have to do now, this, the next step is to substitute equation 3 into equation 2. So equation 2 is x plus y, and let me just put a, another separator, x plus y equals 5. x plus y equals 5. That's equation 2. If we substitute equation 3, which is x equals 1 plus y, we are going to, to get, we're going to substitute equation 3. Wherever we see x, we're going to replace it with 1 plus y. So therefore, replace the x 1 plus y plus y equals 5. Right? And let's, let's reduce it. So it's going to be 1 plus y plus y equals 5. 1 plus right 1 plus 2y equals 5 and we don't have to go through those long steps of transposition you all should actually be very familiar now so all we're going to end up with is 2y equals 5 minus 1 2y is equal to 4 so therefore y is equal to 4 on 2 which is 2 Now, we just got y equals to 2, right, by using the method of substitution, right? All that's left for us to do now is get x. And how we get x is by going right back to equation 3, right, where we have x equals 1 plus y. And substituting the known, now, the known number, the known value of y. We just found out y is equal to 2, so substitute y into equation 3 and we will get x so let's try that so we just found y is equal to 2 right if we recall equation 3 is x equals remember 1 plus y so we already have 
a value for y we just got, right? So to get x, we have to substitute the known value of y into equation 3. And that will be x equals 1 plus 2, which will give us x equals to 3. So our solution is x equals 3, y equals 2. And that's the answer. So it's very simple using substitution to solve a pair of simultaneous equations. I just demonstrated that to you all with this uh, example. So practice it. The more you practice it, the more you will actually be able to, you know, solve these kind of equations. Right. So I'll see you all in the next one.